A 144-pound sea turtle is recovering after it was hit by a boat in South Florida. A fisherman called authorities after seeing the turtle in the water with a huge cut, a slice right across the shell there. You can see it on your screen. Experts say the turtle was floating because of its injury. He was transported to the Loggerhead Marine Life Center in Juneau Beach and now has the nickname Blaze. Joining me now via Skype is Dr. Charles Manier, who is the Director of Research and Rehabilitation at the Marine Life Center. So, if, Doctor, thank you for joining us. Can you tell us how is Blaze doing? Blaze is actually doing fairly well. Blaze, the injury from the boat strike is actually an old injury and, and pretty much completely healed. Uh, externally. It looks very bad, but most of the healing has already uh, taken place. Uh, everything except for the fact that the turtle is having a buoyancy problem at this point in time. And that's something oh. that we can treat. Okay, so the buoyancy issue was not due to this particular injury. However, do you see turtles that come in contact with boats when they do have this type of injury? Does that lead to buoyancy issues? It Unintentional boat strikes will uh, often lead to buoyancy issues that that uh, may be permanent. Uh, but in this particular case, it's it's not that type of situation. It's it's something totally separate. Okay, is it common that you do come across? I mean, and, and some of these turtles, like we mentioned, 144 pounds here are huge. Is this a big problem in South Florida and in other areas as well that they come into contact with boats? Yeah, the, the turtles live in, in the areas where the boats are, uh, which are very popular boating areas, and uh, uh, they, they do have contact occasionally, yes. And if they have contact, and if they are injured, I mean, does, is that life-threatening? Can turtles still survive if they do come in contact with the boat? Uh, they can survive in, in some instances, such as this one with Blaze. Uh, this was a pretty bad uh, hit, but the turtle survived on its own in the wild for probably a year at least uh, with those injuries. But it, it just all boils down to what uh, organs are damaged uh, during the injuries. And before I let you go, is, is there an effort to educate boaters out there, you know, just to be more aware of your surroundings? This is a really big turtle, and by no means am I assuming you can see him. Uh, but, but what do you tell boaters? No, we, we are definitely making an effort to inform the boaters that, uh, especially around this area, we have nesting beaches and have full-size adult turtles uh, most of the year that are, that are nesting. So we just ask the boaters to slow down and be aware that they cannot see these until they, they're right on top of them. Mm -hmm. We also encourage the boaters to wear uh, UV sunglasses, which makes it a little bit easier for them to spot them in the water. Well, thank you, Dr. Charles Manier, and of course, we wish Blaze the very best. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.